The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. The grouping of Russian troops and units of the Donetsk People's Militia have completely liberated elite steelworks from Ukrainian nationalists as a result of offensive in Mariupol city. High-precision, long-range, sea-based, caliber missiles struck a military facility on the outskirts of Kyiv tonight. The strike on Zhulansk machine-building plant Vizar destroyed the production and repair workshops of long- and medium-range anti-aircraft missile systems, as well as anti-ship missiles. The number and scale of missile strikes against assets in Kyiv will increase in response to any terrorist attacks or sabotage on Russian territory by Kyiv nationalist regime. Russian air defense means near Garodnya, Chernigov region, have shot down one Ukrainian Mi-8 helicopter with S-400 anti-aircraft missile system while it was returning to its air base after attacking civilians in Klimova, Bransk region on April 14. Ukrainian Air Force Su-27 fighter jet has been shot down near Lazovaya, Kharkov region. Also, eight Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down near Izum, Levkovka, Novaya Astrakhan, Novaya Kuban, Shesliva, Chernobyevka, and Chorny Sokol. During the night, seven enemy assets were hit by high-precision air-based missiles. Among them, Tochka U tactical missile launcher and a temporary deployment point of Ukrainian nationalist group, including up to 20 armored vehicles and up to 50 nationalists, were destroyed near Yasinova. The Ukrainian military equipment and weapons have been destroyed near Dergachi, Nova Elizavetovka, and Povstanska. Missile and artillery weapons and fuel depots were destroyed in Nikolaev and Parutino. Missile troops have eliminated a mercenary unit of a Polish private military campaign in Izumska, Kharkov region. Up to 30 Polish mercenaries were killed. A total of 221 assets were also hit, including 12 command posts, 176 strong points and areas of enemy manpower concentration. 12 artillery firing positions were suppressed. Operational tactical aviation hit 13 military assets of Ukraine during the night, among them two depots of missile and artillery weapons, as well as 10 areas of concentration of Ukrainian weapons and military equipment. Army aviation destroyed areas of manpower and Ukrainian military equipment concentration, including three strong points, nine armored vehicles and vehicles of various purposes in Gusarovka and Volobuivka. In total, 132 aircraft and 105 helicopters, 245 anti-aircraft missile systems, S-300, Bukam-1, OSA AKM, 456 unmanned aerial vehicles, 2,213 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 249 multiple launch rocket systems, 966 field artillery and motors, as well as 2,110 units of special military vehicles of the armed forces of Ukraine were destroyed during the operation.